So, if you guys did not see this, you were living under a rock. Um, but, you know, just in case you were, let's uh, let's take a look and let's go through a game explain style because there's a couple of interesting things I noticed. Some things were pointed out in chat, and uh, or rather the, the Discord, but there's some things I noticed that nobody was talking about. So, it's only a minute long. We'll go through it once. We'll watch it. And then, you know, we'll go back and we'll spend about 15, 20 minutes dissecting it. Maybe a little bit more. Or is still kind of excited for the game? I think it looks very neat. So let's take a look. couple of things you know it's a monster rancher game from the get-go because it's got the shittiest music you've ever heard in your life also this is literally just the monster rancher 2 logo very cool the shit is like I, I don't know how to describe like I know we describe monster Rancher music as like circus music, but it's like it's like the most annoying people you know decided to make a marching band. Okay, so this is literally Monster Rancher as well. Like these I these guys, this is just the shrine guy from Monster Rancher 3. It looks like you still have access to the music database that they used for DX. It's legit this is a legitimate game. It's coming out this year. The NFC stuff is interesting because uh, it seems completely pointless to introduce NFC stuff in the year 2022, um, about 10 years too late for that to be like really interesting. But the thing is that all the old Ultraman Kaiju games had NFC uh, like additional add-on type stuff. So um, this is a way for them to repurpose all of those cards and all of those little devices and toys they had. Uh, which I think is actually really cool. I would be extremely shocked if they made like amiibos for this But uh, there are old Ultraman NFC toys and like I said cards and stuff for the arcade games that used to exist And I don't know if they're still around or not But yeah, it's a pretty neat way to recycle that stuff. There's a couple of really funny things here So literally raising your monster The fact they still call it Aaron tree a word nobody who speaks English has used in 400 years except for the Monster Rancher people is so funny to me. Like, that's the word they were attached to. They couldn't think of anything better. Errantry refers to when you would send a nobleman or a knight out to do good deeds and missions. That's and Which is, you know, that's fair. That's what they're doing. But it's not a word anybody uses. Everything else might as well be written in Old English if they're going to use Errantry. Makes me believe it's actually Monster Rancher. Me too. This is a dead giveaway that it's just Monster Rancher 2. I don't know what's happening here, but I assume you're racing someone else. Uh, it looks like they have the expeditions again. They call it Adventure. 
But this, this is what we've been waiting for. It's not a Monster Rancher game without crop maintenance and harvesting snow sculpture. I like how this is like talking about different game modes. This is another game mode, but then you got the classic crop maintenance and harvesting snow sculpture. This, again, is a great giveaway that this is going to be a classic Monster Rancher game because this doesn't make any fucking sense. Also, it looks like they have a fatigue and stress meter on screen at all times, which is really neat. But yeah, no need for AV for that. For exact numbers, you might. But uh, yeah, fatigue, and I assume this is stress. It has been changed to anger, which, you know, is thematically fitting for a big kaiju. It's exciting that this is just on screen. It's a little bit more modern to like actually have the meters available. You have all your stats here. I know I'm blocking some of it, but you know, it's you're not missing much. You, you already know what the other ones are. You got speed and defense are the last two. So you can see speed and defense, crop maintenance and harvesting snow sculpture. I didn't realize my, my face was going to be in the way of everything, but I'll move it if I have to. Numbers in this game go a lot higher. Can we say something about how they chose to show this off? This is one of the things they chose to show off. It's like 8 frames per second. The super success dance, I assume this is a great. This is so funny. Choose from a wide variety of drills to develop your kaiju. Make an Ultraman out of ice and do a dance. Skill went up by 16, but when your numbers can go over like 10,000, I don't know how much 16 is. Tournaments with your partner kaiju. Okay, here's an interesting thing. In the Japanese trailer, this dash thing wasn't here. You got your hit percent. This is a crazy HUD. Like, what is going on here with this HUD? Um, this is like 45 minutes in Photoshop HUD. I don't know what's happening. We got stock fonts. We got stock font, but italicized. We got different fonts down here. Um... I, I actually don't know. I actually don't know. It looks like a ma mobile game HUD. It does. Um, but like a mobile game from 2010. I'm hoping it's not final. <laughs> but I, I know uh, I've played enough Monster Rancher games to know that if they're showing this, you know, that's probably what we're getting. But yeah, you got what looks like power and intelligence skills of some kind. There's all these little dots here. You see the dot, 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 dot. Makes me think these are different skills or techs within that range you can see there's an arrow so i assume you can cycle through them the same way you could in monster rancher the dash forward is kind of interesting because nothing like that existed in monster rancher till monster rancher 4. the monsters and their animations look shitty but like you can tell it's on purpose you can tell it's it's in line with the source material you know do we get a bad counter system too i hope not um this right here is the exact same icon as this here I don't know if they just reused some icons or not. Um, this guy's got a little cube or something in the corner. I don't know if there's like a powered up version of moves. Um, I never saw anybody mention this, but that's kind of interesting because like I said, it's the same beam, it's the same cost, uh, but this guy's got a little cube in the corner, which I assume is some sort of power up. I don't know what it could possibly be, but you know, it's there. Pretty interesting. Babaru is looking fly with the zebra print. He is ready to become king of the elephants. <laughs> and in case you have 30 minutes to move that ability, your ability is being turned into a cube. These dots here seem to be different ranges, I would assume. I assume this is too far for anything. This is slot four, slot three, slot two, slot one. You know, that also lines up with where these are situated. Red is power and blue is intelligence. I would guess because this looks like... Uh, a beam and this looks like gas cloud or bolts or something and then this is like i don't know it's very hard to see with the tournament's bit in the way oh yeah there's a punch there's a horn and there's a horn but fast oh my god are there tech chains is this a tech chain from this to this it could be are we gonna get tech chains in the new monster rancher game what is happening super oscillatory wave Oh, he's got a diving press? It only costs 18. That's sick. Yeah, you can't dodge super oscillatory wave. <laughs> Wait a minute. What is the fucking hit difference on these? Hold on, hold on, hold on. So this has 41 hit. Okay, that's whatever. Um, at the beginning of this, we see a move with 75% hit. Video game. And then later, 
This move has 38% hit. So that is like almost 40 gap. So that's like, is this like a minus 20 and the other one's like a plus 20? That's really funny. I I don't know, just little things you pick up on. Guts correction. But he's got a guts lead here. So I don't even know. Confetti from nowhere, that's sick. Oh, uh, <laughs> huge roasted potato. I like the items. Um, money, yeah, this is all pretty normal. His name is Mogor. And then there's the combination, which is like, you couldn't have a Monster Rancher game without this. Unless it's Monster Rancher 3, in which case, you know, Monster Rancher 3 is still sick. You want a huge roasted potato? No, we all. That on Gamora. And then it's coming out this year. I like this little snail man. Is this you? Are you the little snail man? I, I just love that there's combinations, man. I'm so happy. Assume you're the snail man. You think we are the snail man? Game of the year. Game of the year. What more do you want?